Hello, everybody. My name is Karagolova Merim, and I'm a teacher of Satkanbai Tentishev Memorial Asian Medical Institute. Satkanbai Tentishev Asian Medical Institute it is a single institute in Kyrgyzstan, which is 100% free of corruption. And in training future doctors, we are guided by ideology of high education. Because being a doctor it is very difficult and responsible. And if you want to be successful, highly qualified, a specialist of your field, you must work very hard now. Being a doctor, it is noble at the same time. And you must deserve this honor to be named as doctor. In order to deserve this honor, you must work hard and to get all necessary knowledge and to learn all necessary skills and to improve them to perfect level. Because in future, from the, your knowledge, from your skills, will depend on the most precious your patients have. It is their health and lives. So that is why, guys, work hard and study well. So uh, let's start our lesson of Latin. And today, I will explain you grammatical categories of adjective in latin adjective can be characterized by same grammatical categories as noun and grammatical categories of noun we discussed in our previous class do you remember those categories yes these categories are gender number and case in latin genus numerus casus First of all, let's discuss about, uh, let's compare Latin adjective with English adjective. <clears throat> from, the cat from the point of view of gender category. In English, adjective has no gender category. Good boy, good girl, good book. So for all three genders of nouns, we are using one and same form of adjective, good. But in Latin, adjective can be male, female, and neutral. Now, let's see uh, Latin adjective and noun from point of view of number category. So, in English, adjective has no number category also, because good boy good boys for singular number and for plural number we are using one and same form of adjective again good only but in latin adjective can be singular or plural from case category adjective in latin can be in common case and can be in possessive case forms while in english Adjective do not have case forms like good boy of good boys. See? So that is why, guys, uh, grammatical categories of adjective will be a little bit strange topic for you. So be attentive and try to remember each detail of today's video lesson. So, as I told already, uh, Latin adjective can be characterized by same grammatical categories as Latin now. And first category is genus, category of gender. Latin adjective also can have three gender forms, like masculinum, femininum, and neutrum. But only masculinum form of Latin adjective is given. Other two gender forms, femininum and neutrum, are to be constructed. By masculinum form ending, adjectives can be classified into two groups. 
So adjectives uh, having ending us, er, they belong to first group. And adjectives having ending is belong to second group. See? So one more I'm repeating. Adjectives can be classified into two groups. First group adjectives has ending us, er in masculinum form. And second group adjective, they have ending is in masculinum form. Look at these adjectives. Longus, dexter, brevis, albus, ruber, viridis, sinister, liber, and svaris. All these are Latin adjectives. Now, we will classify them by groups. Longus, dexter, albus, ruber, sinister, liber. They will belong to first group because they have endings us and er. While adjectives brevis, viridis, suavis, they have ending is. It means they belong to second group. So, uh, by Latin grammar, adjective fully depends on noun and must be used in same gender, number and case as noun. That is why we are all the time need to change gender of adjective according to noun. Let's see how to construct these gender forms. So if adjective has ending us in masculinum form, for constructing femininum us, we change to a ending. For constructing neutrum us ending, we change to ending um. For example, longus. Us we change to a, longa, femininum form. Us we change to um, longum, neutrum form. So, longus, it is male form of long. Longa, female form of long. Longum, it is neutral form of long. If adjective has ending er, for constructing femininum er, we change to ra. For constructing neutrum form, er, we change to room. Let's see examples. Dexter ending er, we change to ra. And we got femininum form dextra. Er, we change to room. And we got neutrum form dextrum. So dexter, male form of right. Dextra, female form of right. And dextrum, neutral form of right. Right. If adjective has ending is, you remember that uh, adjectives with ending is, they belong to second group. So second group adjective will have masculine and feminine forms same. For constructing neutrum, we use is ending, we change to a. Examples, brevis, femininum again brevis. Neutrum will be breve. So brevis, it is male and female form of brief. And breve, neutral form of brief. Remember, we have some adjectives, exception adjectives, which keep letter E in femininum and neutrum forms. So most of adjectives with uh, ending R, they do not keep letter E. But adjectives seller, liber, asper, they keep letter E in all gender forms. So how it is working? Let's see examples. Usually, dexter, dextra, dextrum. As you see, letter E is omitted in forms of femininum dextra and neutrum dextrum. But in case of uh, exception cases, celer, celera, celerum, liber, libera, liberum, asper, aspera, asperum. As you see, a letter kept in all gender forms. So next category is casus case category. Like noun and depending on noun, Latin adjective can be in nominativus form and can be 
in genitivus form. In nominativus form, adjectives are given only in male form. Femininum and neutrum forms we need to construct. And in constructing gender forms, we must all the time follow sequence of gender endings. Us, a, um, er, ra, rum, is, is, e. Genitivus forms of Latin adjectives, male, female, and neutral, all forms must be constructed by changing nominativus gender endings to genitivus gender endings. So let's see how to construct genitivus forms. You know that in nominativus for constructing gender forms, we follow chain of endings us, a, um, longus, longa, longum. For constructing genitivus, us we change to e, a we change to e, and um we change to e. So genitivus forms will be longus, longi, longa, longe, longum, longi. Yes, meaning of longi, longe, longi will be of long. Longi, it is of long for male and neutral. Longe is of long for feminine. If adjective has ending er, you know that we follow sequence of endings er, ra, rum. So dexter, dextra, dextrum. For constructing genitivus forms er, we change to re, ra, we change to re, Room we change to re. So, dex, dexter, right for, for masculinum, dextri, of right for masculinum, dextra, right femininum, dextre, of right femininum, dextrum, it is right neutrum, dextri, of right neutrum. Baby. In second group adjective, you know male, female. Endings are same, is, and neutrum endings are e. So, brevis, brevis, breve. For constructing genitivus form, guys, for all three genders, we use one and same form ending, is. So, genitivus form will be same for all genders. Brevis, brevis, brevis. So, brevis, it is brief for male, female. And breve, it is brief for neutral. And brevis, genitivus form, it is of brief for all genders. Now, guys, one more thing you must know about uh, adjectives. It is lexical form of adjective. What is this? So lexical form of adjective, which is also known as dictionary form, because it is found in dictionary. It contains very important and necessary information about adjectives. So that is why it is uh, proposed and advised to learn all the Latin adjectives in their lexical forms. So which information is given in this form? In this form, we can find masculinum form of adjective, femininum ending, and neutrum ending. For example, Longus a um. It is lexical form of adjective long, long. So it means that here we have masculinum form of long, longus. Then we have femininum ending, which is same. Us change to a, and you will get femininum form. And neutrum ending, which is saying that if you change us to um, you will get neutrum form. Next example, dexter, tra, trum. Here we have dexter, masculinum form of right, then tra, it is what femininum form ending, and trum, it is neutrum form ending. See, guys, in this dictionary form, um, we have a hint that letter E after T not kept. Dexter, tra, trum. In case of exceptions, uh, dictionary form is liber era erum. This dictionary form is giving you a hint that in case of liber, 
when we construct feminine and neutral forms, letter E is kept liber, libera, liberum. Second group uh, adjective le uh, lexical form is a little bit shorter, brevis E, in which brevis means male and female form, and E is neutrum form ending. So it means that if we change is to a, we will get neutron forms. Um, so guys, your task is try to indicate group of these uh, adjectives, like see mandibularis ending is which group? Yes, it is second group. Zygomaticus, which group? Us ending. Yes, whose ending is showing us that zygomaticus belongs to first group. Seller, er, all adjectives with ending er belongs to second, so to first group. So, guys, um, today I explained to you grammatical categories of Latin adjectives. Uh, now you know how to indicate group of adjectives. Yeah, now you know how to construct gender forms and how to convert these gender forms into genitives form. So guys, thank you for attention. Goodbye.